Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a black screen on Startup Obscure Expedition 33. Uh, there are a couple of different fixes, both for the Xbox Game Pass and for Steam, so try not to skip them. The first thing is for the Steam version. So if uh, you have the Steam version, what you want to do, and this is a little bit counterintuitive, is to enable the Steam overlay. So you find the game in your library, right click on it, go to Properties. And on the general tab on the left hand side, it says enable the Steam overlay while in game. You want this to be on, on Steam. Uh, this fixes a lot of crashing. I do not understand why, but it does. So give it a try. The next thing you want to do is to, uh, if you have any mods like Reshade mod or Reno DX mod, I would recommend removing those. Um, basically those do not help the game very much. Um, they do crash the game after a couple of hours. The next thing you want to do is it's kind of a related to Unreal 5, uh, but you want to run this game in DirectX 11. So you want to right click on the game again in Steam, go to Properties on the left hand side, go to General. Under Launch Options, you want to type in DX11. Um, this is a common issue for Unreal 5 based games. Uh, Unreal it basically runs on DirectX 12, and DirectX 12 does not play well with many GPUs. And uh, so yeah, run it, force uh, it to run on DirectX 11. The next thing you want to do is update the BIOS, especially if you're on 12th or 13th gen Intel CPUs, or if you're on GPUs like the RTX 5 5090. Uh, update, updating the motherboard BIOS resolved issues for a lot of different people. So give it a try. And the next thing you want to do is launch the game from a desktop uh, shortcut instead of the Steam client or the Xbox client. Um, it's a little bit strange, but uh, this does seem to fix the issue. So you want to uh, right click on the game, go to manage, go to add desktop shortcut. Then after you do that, you want to find the desktop shortcut and you want to run it off of there. And if you're an Xbox app, uh, the process is very similar. You find the game in your library, you right click on it, you click on manage, and then you, uh, you click on create desktop shortcut. And what you want to do with the desktop shortcut is you want to right click on it and say run as administrator, this does seem to fix a lot of issues with the game. So I, help, I hope this video helped you. If it did, leave the video a like and please subscribe. I really appreciate it and have a nice day.